I'm Jim Starlin, and I'm sitting here at the Baltimore Comic Con, surrounded by strange-looking people who are all nodding me in agreement right now and uh, having a good old time, signing comic books and uh, pushing breeds. I've been here four or five times. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite cons. It always has been. It's, it's nearby. It's got a good vibe to it. and good place uh, to connect up with my fellow professionals, folks I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, Breed uh, collection of the final book fi at last came out. Um, now I'm working on this uh, illustrated novel that's over there, which has no release date at this point. It's one of two. Uh, one of them is uh, called Mind Games and the other one is Last Goods Boys and when I get Last Goods Boys completed I will bring it out at about the same time I'm bringing something else out so I can piggyback on the publicity. Very calculating on my part, yes. Um, this guy and I have been together since the beginning. He was my first character I ever created. My career has gone downhill since then steadily. Um, it's true, I mean, nothing's ever going to be as popular as him, I don't think, at this point. Uh, I had no idea up until about two weeks before that he was going to be in the Avengers. So I went to a midnight showing uh, in my local area. Uh, being a midnight showing, it was I was surrounded by comic book fans, of course. Uh, behind me were what I thought were two people. One was a comic book fan, the other was a cartoon fan. Uh, they commented throughout the movie, which I normally would have gone and turned around and told them to shut up, but I figured they were part of the ambiance of the evening and that, so I just let them commentary through. And when we finally got to the end credits, the cartoon fan went, who is that? But he did it in stereo, and I realized that the two voices I've been hearing behind me we really belong to about eight people. And so they were the two comic book fan, comic cartoon fans, rather, who asked about who that was, were answered by six comic book fans really loudly saying, why, that's Thanos. And my wife and I cracked up and uh, giggled and made our way out of the theater. And I missed a ruined uh, restaurant scene afterwards because of that. Yeah, I caught it online well, later at on. At that particular moment, uh, it's been several years since Marvel and I've had, I've had any working relationship. And so my feelings at that point uh, were sort of mixed. And uh, But since then, Marvel and I have been talking. And um, I think things are going to work out well there. And um, I have my fingers crossed, and we'll see what happens. In the meantime, you know, um, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I liked what he looked like. I was kind of surprised by the blue eyes. But I suspect when he gets enraged, they'll get a reddish tinge to him. Uh, if I was doing a movie, that's how I'd do it, but uh, we'll see. I'm very curious to see what uh, his voice sounds like. Uh, all I can say is Marvel and I are talking. Uh, I have no plans. We have nothing set up, and uh, we're talking, and we'll see what happens. Well, it's nice that that genre is becoming so popular as it is, but like any kind of an artistic endeavor, there's mixed results. Some are better than others. Uh, you know, I would have put the Avengers way up there on a, t uh, on a high level. I mean, I, I think they succeeded admirably with it. Uh, other movies, which I won't mention because I maybe ended up working for the company that produced them, have had lesser results. Um, you know, I mean, there's been some very successful ones. The first couple of Spider-Mans I liked quite a bit. Uh, this first uh, couple of the three Batmans I like quite a bit. I was a little dis I'll say I was a little bit disappointed in the last one. But, uh, you know, there's some very good stuff out there. And then, like always, there's some mediocre and some bad stuff. And the more of these things that come out, the more you're going to get that mix. I, I should hope so. I'm trying to push a breed uh, movie at this point, And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens down the line. And there have been some independent things and smaller things here and there. I mean, Hellboy is basically uh, independent. So, uh, you know, it's not heard, unheard of. Right now, like I said, I'm working on those illustrated novels. And anything that might else come up, I can't really talk about at this point. And, uh, the three episodes of Breed, I could use the money. Yeah. And that's about it, actually. <laughs> All right, thank you.